Hey guys, and welcome back to this new video. Today, let's talk again about ePaper displays and the newly built ePaper Wall 3.0. In the past, I did show the ePaper Wall 1.0, which was made out of 300 of those 2.9 inch displays. And after that, I think half a year later, I made one with 7.4 inches, and these were like 45 pieces of them. But both the smaller and bigger version did have quite some borders around. Now the new one is made out of 56 9.7 inch displays, but the bare display with the DIY PCB on the back and battery driven and yeah, installed on the wall, as you can see here. Overall, uh, let's take a look on how I made it and how it looks now. Everything is driven by open ePaper link and now it is controlled currently by such an access point which features an ESP32-S3 and a TLSR chip. So it's quite small and versatile. And ChatGPT did wrote a quick script on uploading and cutting a big image into smaller parts and uploading it in chunks onto the displays to not overload the ESP32 because that is quite at the limit of doable things in this type of size. So let's take a closer look. As you can see it's made out of 8 by 7 uh, rows and columns and the content is shown dithered to make it yeah as nicely looking as possible from far away and the displays itself can display red black and white and have 960 by 672 pixels as you can see um, it's mounted by 3d printed brackets and here it is basically like cut in the middle so it can be disassembled to put in the car and drive somewhere with it and show it at some exhibition. I will most likely paint this wooden border in black at some point or another color just to make it look a little bit nicer and maybe fill up these spaces as they really ruin the image of it and overall it does look quite nice, so let's now take a closer look at the build process. And this is how the complete construction basically looks like. Each of the displays get one or two stickers of these double-sided tapes from Aliexpress which is really nice and strong and still like a bit squishy which is quite nice. Then the driver circuit will be just connected, plugged in and glued onto the yeah, fiber pad and afterwards the battery holder as well which is then soldered to the yeah, correct connections and this is then just redone on all of them. That looks quite nice already. I just now need to decide on how to arrange them. So the plan really is to overlap the display somehow. So this border where the controller ICs are gets yeah, hidden behind the next one. But at the same time, I also want to overlap it to the left here. And at some point it will be problematic because at this point we have then like four displays on top of each other which is not easy to handle. But somehow it could work out if the yeah, holders are designed correctly which is now the next step to do. But if that works out we have really like just maybe three millimeters, four millimeters of overlapping or of of a line which is the best so far on the other e-paper walls it was really like a bezel of maybe one centimeter in between each other so that will look way better here and way more complete 
So this is now the solution I came up with. It features such 3D printed brackets and the solution really works quite well as far off now. You have like in the beginning two brackets you screw on with just one screw here and I will even then later 3D print the correct size of the end brackets I would call it. So you only have like one opening. They are screwed here. The display is just inserted to the right and then the next brackets are pushed into it and can be screwed from this side. Then you again like basically insert the display again and add the next brackets just like that and just screw in again the next uh, preparation for the next row and as you can see here we even have a gap in between the bracket and the display and that way we can insert the next row even in between this section and have really like at that position four displays stacked on top of each other. We can insert the brackets here as well again and have a basically somewhat borderless e-paper wall. So here we have of course this border of the top display. We cannot get rid of it but in comparison to to this section it's like very small and here we do have like an added three millimeter or two and a half millimeter added border because the brackets need to get around the display itself otherwise there is no way to do it also the solution is quite sturdy i was yeah worried that this is not holding up much but it's I'm pressing onto it like a lot and it's not bending so maybe these brackets can even be smaller in the future. I will add some protection here on the outside because the flex cables are yeah like very much exposed. Maybe a 3D printed solution or a wooden frame just completely around the e-paper wall. But since on one side another complete wooden panel should be added and slid into here, we need to expose just for transportation one side of the row so it can interconnect two of the wooden panels without problems. Yeah, and otherwise it's now time to screw in a bit and 3D print more brackets. And as already mentioned, it's now exactly how it turned out. So you have the wooden frame around it completely and at the sections with the flex PCB you have the squishy tape thing to protect it to not yeah, bump into the frame there. And otherwise the image is currently being updated again and this takes around one hour to do the whole screen because each display takes like around 40 to 50 seconds from upload to being finished and it's done really in like parts one by one to not overload the access point right now. And while it's still off by around 20 subscribers I want to thank everyone who did subscribe and I want to celebrate 20,000 subscribers to this YouTube channel by making this ChatGPT generated image. Did you ever notice that the subscribe button will blink up or shine if someone says do subscribe in a video? I'm not sure if this will work here as well, but maybe take a look. Also, in the future there will be again more hacking content and not so just blog post stuff as right now. As this is just to show what I'm doing, but it's not worth to create like a full documentation on how to build a wall because no one will ever do it. Have a great day. See you next time.